Good morning. It's Saturday morning and I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update on what's going on with our building project. There isn't as much to show this week and I, I think mainly I want to give you some information. You know, we did get some painting done and some landscaping done and the guys are out there working right now. But the main thing I want to let you know is that we did get word back from the state and our project has been approved. So this was the second time that our plans were submitted to the state, state fire marshal to be specific. And so we still will have our local fire marshal checking in on us and making sure that everything is the way it ought to be. Because we do have a complicated building with basically five different buildings and a lot of different firewalls. So we do understand that, that this is a complicated build. Uh, but we're very happy to know that the framer that will be framing up the new roof is going to start work on, on uh, our, our roof, our building next week. The roofer will start in and we're going to be very anxious to see that come to completion. Once the roof is on and everything is working well, then we'll be able to finish up everything that's underneath where that roof is going to be installed. So that's kind of what we've been waiting for is we pretty much were on hold for at least a month, getting other things done, but at the same time, waiting and waiting and waiting. And uh, we're just thankful that we are Christians and we have a lot of patience, right? Well, this is what happened this last week. We got a lot of painting done. In fact, all the painting to the exterior of the building is done. The only little piece left is this canopy right here. There's some uh, finishing up that needs to be done there. But as far as the other areas that needed to be painted, that's all been done all the way around. The lights still need to be put in. There's just a lot of exterior work that's been done. This indoor outdoor drywall type substance is being installed so that's good to see and you can see the lights there and that is uh, going to be a very good entryway whether you're coming in the front like here or whether you're coming in the back and then over here we also got some landscaping put in we got some little trees looks like some deciduous trees and all right, there's a Japanese maple. That might be an ornamental cherry. So that will be probably blooming in the spring, so that would be very pretty. This area is being prepped for landscaping. I think the idea was they want to put it in on a Monday so that as they work along, then there'll be someone around to give it a little bit of water because Plants need a drink. Around here we have some mulch that's been laid down. And of course the painting has been done up here. Oh, there's a little, little tree here too. You can also see that painting has been done on the side here. So that hardy board has been painted. Just like out in front, the indoor outdoor drywall is being installed. Then there'll be some fascia board and there'll be some gutters and downspouts. We're making progress, folks. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope that you're excited about this just as much as I am. I'm very thankful that we're gonna be able to proceed, and uh, we got approval back even a day early from the state, so uh, we're thankful to God for that. People are coming back to church more and more all the time, and 
I'm very glad to see that. It's good to get into the house of the Lord and to fellowship with each other and study the word together. Once we get everything up and running again, as far as our building, then we'll be able to get our nursery and also our adult and children's Sunday school started again. But we need volunteers. We also need some volunteers to help water the new landscaping. So if you have a green thumb, or even if you don't have a green thumb, if you like to play in water, or if you're just willing to come and water our plants for us, this is kind of a rough time of the year to be planting things. And so we're gonna need some people to come out, two or three, maybe just, if we get three or four people to come out once a week to water, that would be a big, big help. So give that some thought and let me know if you're gonna be able to help. God bless.